I think the vocabulary gap is huge when you're dealing with students of uh, low socioeconomic status. And my school is 74% non-white, 82% of our students um, are eligible for free and reduced lunch. This year I gave my students um, pre-assessments in math that focused on math vocabulary and then I also asked the students um, which words they really wanted to focus on throughout the unit um, knowing that they were responsible for all of them and then I could um, adjust my instruction or the process that we would use to learn those vocabulary words. I also wanted to make sure that I attended and the students attended to the precision of the words and I think through that formative assessment and just reconnecting to okay these are the vocabulary words that we want to learn these are the ones that you know along the way the students naturally used and began using those, vo those vocabulary words that related to math content in their discussions. Something that I really found useful along the way was just being able to keep a record and I actually gave the assessment more than just the pre and the post. I gave it in the middle too just to kind of see where we were at and students um, then took those vocabulary words and did different activities around them um, to gain more knowledge and understanding of what the concept meant. Another way that I adjusted my instruction was um, creating small groups of students that explicitly focused on certain words. So for example, um, if we were doing place value terms, one student might understand what the hundreds place is, but another student um, may not. So then I could group those kids together accordingly to what vocabulary words they needed to work on. And I think, you know, being able to use flexible grouping, responding and adjusting to the formative assessment is key. So differentiating your instruction based off of your formative assessment allows my students with disabilities multiple opportunities or different ways to get at the content. If you're doing formative assessments but nothing is done with the formative assessments, they're pointless. So my advice is creating some sort of systematic way of looking at what the formative assessments are telling you and taking that information and adjusting your instruction. That's been a big word for me lately is just thinking about how am I adjusting my instruction. Yes, I have this overall pacing guide that I'm following or these big ideas and essential questions that I want to answer in the end, but I have to be willing to adjust my instruction along the way. And if I'm not using formative assessment to do that, there's no point in giving a formative assessment.